Um, you may want to remove your children out of the room because the nature of the video can be disturbing to some. I think I said that there, right? The public service announcement. It, I mean, it's something like that right there. But we got an incident. Um, a Georgia teacher is on leave because she allegedly put whelps on a student's back. Here we go. The clock a teacher in Henry County is on administrative leave after a mother reached out to 11 Alive saying that her daughter told her she was hit at school. Mm. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter spoke with a distraught mother who says she picked up her daughter to find her covered with scratches and bruises, Brittany. That's right. This story is really horrific from mm. the mother's point of view and everyone involved here. The mother, though, tells me she's still in shock. She's disappointed and just trying to process what actually happened to her daughter. It was just before 2 p.m. Wednesday mm. when Brittany Walker says she got this disturbing phone call from her daughter's principal. Said that, well, the only thing I can tell you was uh, she wasn't sexually assaulted. I said, so does that mean she was physically assaulted? And he said, yes. And I said, what? She says the principal told her there had been an incident involving her daughter and a staff member, mm. and it was now being investigated by HR. She immediately went to Dutchtown Elementary School, and just moments after picking her daughter up, this happened. She said that, Mom, my back hurts. It's burning. It's stinging. And I looked at her back, and when I pulled her shirt up, she had welts on her back. Mm. That's when her daughter told her what happened. I went to the library and my computer wasn't charged and I needed to another charger. And she got mad at me for not having it. Nevea says before they were walked out of the classroom, the teacher lined her and several other students up. She literally hit us in our backs. We had two people that saw what happened. And another teacher came to take us to the quiet room where we can write a statement of what happened. Brittany says they went to the Henry County Police Department and filed a police report before having her daughter examined at the hospital. Say 50 lashes. Adding they're sharing their story tonight mm -hmm. because they don't want this to happen to anyone else. If I abuse my daughter, I'll be in jail going and down. she'll be out my home. You're going down and we taking your baby, but we're going to get your baby back because you is a woman. So why was she any different? She should not be able to ever work in a school system, any school system, in any state ever again. And the district did share with me that HR is investigating what they call a staff member having an inappropriate interaction with students at Dutchtown Elementary School. And that employee will remain on administrative leave during the course of this investigation. Okay, so but would they pay the teacher at all? So how is Nevaeh and her family doing now? Yeah, I mean, today she was out of school. Yeah. Her mom said that she is worried about going back. Mm -hmm. She sees this teacher in her school schedule every single day for a lengthy portion of her day. And, and her mom said she loves school. She's a great mm -hmm. student. So um, mm -hmm. she's just kind of worried right now about how she's going to readjust. Yeah, hopefully they can get this resolved soon. Thanks, yeah. Brittany. Yeah. Thanks. Hopefully they can get it resolved. What did the churn do, though? Our good teachers is not just giving people 50 lashes for nothing. Even back in slavery, you did not get 50 lashes for nothing. It was for something, something that you did. We got to teach our children. I don't care how good you is in school, but the, the, damn it, what you did that day is a problem. You needed to charge your laptop. You don't sit your head down somewhere. You raise your hand or something. Free my dog. Listen, 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 listen. The teachers need to be back on the job because we already have a shortage of teachers. Now, when back in my day, you could paddle and beat the hell out of cheering back in school. And that's what kept us on the straight and narrow for the most part. And then once we got our butt whooped in school, we had to go home and get our butt whooped in. And hell, God forbid you had a mama and a daddy. When your mama come home, your mama going to whoop you. Well, a lot of times, mamas was already home. Mama going to whoop you when you get there. When when your old boy get home, he going to tell that going to beat your back out. That, well, damn it, that sounded wrong. He was going to chastise you. I don't want to say beat your back out on children because people be thinking and people be cutting up stuff. And it be wrong out here in the dog on the street. But listen, ever since they moved, the daddy's out the household. 
It's the system fault. That's what's up. Move right along. I ain't gonna eat much hold your hair. Just put some mercury comb on your back with some damn damn it, some Vaseline and some icy hot. There's some Vaseline, some icy hot. You'll be all right, baby. Move right along. I ain't gonna eat much hold.